Hey guys, what's good? What is going on out there on, what's tonight? Tonight's Wednesday night? Oh, yeah, it's Wednesday night. Yeah, it is Wednesday night. Okay, so we are in here for two talks and I might piss, pe piss a couple people off tonight and I am so okay with that. I'm so okay with that um, because the message goes beyond um, people's feelings because I know for a fact that there are going to be a lot of people who resonate with what I'm going to talk about tonight. So as you guys come in, feel free to share this message out. Don't be afraid. Um, like I said, we're going to have a real conversation um, about the people that we used to know. And they might get a little bit upset and that's okay. I don't really care about that. This is all about our own personal development, self-leadership journey. And um, so as you guys know, so Truth Talks, if you're just popping in for that, uh, Truth Talks is a real conversation for real people living out real life. And my name is Marcy Batiste, your ultimate power coach, America's number one reality-based success and recovery trainer. And I'm super, super happy that you're here. That being said, let's get down to business. Let's get deep into the conversation tonight. Um, so I titled this, this uh, conversation... Uh, yeah, I used to know them. Yeah, I used to know him. Yeah, I used to know her. Uh, and I know that there are a lot of people who have this situation where um, particularly professional and personal relationships end, right? Sometimes they end well. Sometimes they end not so well. What's good, Steph? How are you, sweetie? Um, sometimes they end good, sometimes they end not so good, uh, but they circle back. And I, you know, I call it relationship hibernation when it's a particular, like specifically intimate partner relationships, um, dating relationships, dating situationships. Uh, I call it hibernation, relationship hibernation. In other words, they don't really go away. They just hibernate for a season and then pretty soon they come back at you and they come, they circle back to you and that's their idea that it's going to be uh, beneficial to them to circle back to you and then they expect you to just co-sign with their choice, right? And so you're left like, damn, like you might even be curious about it. Like, oh, okay, maybe I want to, you know, find out what happened if they left without closure. But relationship hibernators are not healthy they're toxic people toxic relationships and however it ended it's probably going to end the same way as it did the last time the next time and so i have a really strong no do-over policy as it relates to relationship hibernation uh relationship do-overs in general like no matter how they've ended uh and this is my personal view and so this is what we're going to kind of talk about tonight is the people that circle back to us, whether it's for a business relationship or a personal relationship or an intimate relationship. And sometimes it's even family who pulls these kinds of stunts. And what happens is, overall scenario, you guys are thick as thieves, you cool, everything, you're tight. And then for whatever reason, you have some sort of a beef, you have some sort of a falling out. Sometimes you just uh, start having different interests and for whatever reason, the relationship ends. Sometimes the relationship ends very notably, and you know, like, mm, this is a wrap. This is the end of us, whatever us ever was. And sometimes they end like, you know, I haven't talked to so-and-so in about eight months. And it just dawns on you that the relationship shifted and it took a huge turn. And... Those can be kind of tough sometimes because once you do think back, you're like, did I do something? Did I say something? And so then we get stuck in this place of second guessing ourselves, second guessing our choices. Uh, hey, David. And why? Like it might not, it, you know, sometimes relationships just dissolve on their own, right? You don't, it doesn't take a beef. It doesn't take some big thing to end the relationship. But then invariably you realize I haven't talked to so-and-so in eight or nine months. You go on about your life, a couple months later they pop up and they circle back and they want to pick up 
where we left off. That's your idea about what. That's not what I want to do. And so I've had several situations and I know clients that have had several situations and they run into, they fall into this trap where the person circles back, like I said, intimate partner, family, um, just anybody. So they circle back after a number of months being, you know, MIA and come out of hibernation, come for you and they want to pick up where you left off and then you're stuck like, how do I handle, how do I navigate this relationship? And this is my thought on it and this is my personal take is that you have to realize that oftentimes they'll come to you like, oh, I haven't heard from you. Oh, well, phone works both ways, boo-boo. Um, and, and I'll tell you, I'm terrible about being the one that keeps the conversations open, keeps the dialogue going. I am the worst at it. My kids complain about it. Everybody I know complains about it, and it's just one of those things. It's a known character flaw in me. I understand that. I try and share that with people so they don't take it the wrong way. Uh, but it's because I'm very much uh, in, in my, I stay in my own lane. And so I don't really worry a whole lot about what is going on with other people unless you are really in my intimate, close, personal circle. So that being said, so they come back and they're like trying to pick up where you left off. And you realize they're like, you know, like let, let, let's hang out sometime. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then you're reluctant. You're kind of like, yeah, pump your brakes. And they're going, well, you know, what's, what's going on with you? Like, I'm still the same. Herein lies the problem. You're still the same. I used to know you. And what I knew of you then, for whatever reason, the relationship dissolved. You went into hibernation. I went into hibernation. We stopped communicating. We stopped contacting. So if you were still the same person that I knew then and you haven't changed, guess what, boo-boo? I have. I've changed. I've grown. I've learned. I've, I've, I've moved on. And so people think that because they haven't changed and their situation and their circumstance hasn't changed, that they should be able to just pop back into your life and, not, and that you're not going to miss a beat with them. And then are offended when you throw up the boundary that says, you know what? I don't want to do you anymore. I love you, but I can't do you. And that's okay. But we have such a hard time getting over that hump. And so that's why I wanted to have that conversation tonight. Because I know a lot of um, stuff, right? Amen, honey. Um, I know a lot of people both male and female that are going through this very thing where somebody just falls off they go ghost on you and then they just pop back up and i always tease my homegirls i'm like they don't die they just hibernate and so that's where the term relationship hibernation came came from because they think literally that they can just go away like a bear in in the cave for a number of months and then come out in the springtime and be like, hey, let's pick up where we left off. Let's go hang out. Let's do this. And then, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Wait. Pop back up nine months later talking about what you doing, beautiful? Boy, bye. Stop. Pop up nine months later. Hey, handsome, how are you? I've been thinking about you. Bye, Felicia. No, stop. Stop. Don't fall for it. That's my message tonight. Don't fall for the foolishness. Don't fall for the people that come out of hibernation and you're thinking, well, you know, if they if they circled back, if they came back, maybe, just maybe, like I didn't really get closure. Hell, what the hell you need closure for? They didn't want to talk to you in nine months. What do you need closure for? What do you need closure for? And, you know, I've had that situation uh, personally with in particular this one guy that I used to date a number of years ago and he literally I didn't talk to him for about four or five years and then one day he found me on Instagram and just started inboxing me and was like hey ma what you doing been a long time we should get together 
send me your number. And I messaged him back and I was like, why would I send you my number? First of all, my number hasn't changed. So if I was important to you, you would still have it, my friend. If you don't, and I haven't talked to you in five years, four years, five years, six years, however the hell long it's been, and you don't have my number, but my number hasn't changed. That means at some point during that time, I was not significant to you. I was not important to you. So when you circle back to me, nine months, five years later, talking about, hey, beautiful, what's up, ma, let's hang out. The answer is going to be 157%. Hell no. We're not doing it. I don't, I'm not built like that. Steph, uh, it's been years. Love him. What can we... How can be special? So should I say no? I can't tell you what you should do, Steph. I can't tell you what you should do. Um, I can tell you that you need to think about why it's been years since you've had contact. Um, and it literally is for me personally, uh, I love you, but I can't do you. And so there's a lot of people that, especially relationships that I've had, where I miss the relationship but I'm not going to do a do over. You not about to put me through a whole bunch of changes like you did the first time. You're not about to leave me with a bunch of questions unanswered. Like, no, I've moved on. I'm in a good space. My head is good. My spirit is good. Why would I go back? Now that's me. So what I would say to you for your question um, is figure out in your, in your spirit, why the relationship ended. And it could be just simply a, a, a conversation where y'all just need to clear the air. Like maybe there's really nothing and maybe it is worth, um, you know, trying to have and build some sort of a, a relationship, friendship again. But I would say it's like you treat that like you would treat a brand new person that you met off the street. And you can't, you can't rely on the history. You can't rely on the history from it because you don't know them anymore. You're not the same person anymore. It, 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 you know, we, we evolve, we grow. And I know, I know you, like I know so much stuff you've been through. Like you're not the same person you were a year ago. You're not the same person you were two years ago, three years ago. So depending on how long that, that relationship has been, has been severed or in hibernation, you have to relearn that person. And so if, if it's someone that you value to the point where you're like, okay, I'm really kind of glad this person came back in my life. And it does happen. It does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Uh, and I've had people like that. But I start over. I don't ever let them pick up where I left off. Like, we have to start building the relationship with new groundwork. Because even if you haven't changed, boo, I've changed. So you need to learn the new me. Because the new me has some boundaries that the old me didn't have. It had... um yeah, right, Steph. I definitely know. And I only know little bits and pieces of it. I know I don't know all of it. So um, for me personally, it is literally let's start over. If I want to if I want to rekindle this friendship, this relationship, whatever, business partnership, whatever, we have to start over at ground zero. Like we never had a relationship. You can't just pop back out of hibernation and jump back into full motion where we left off. Because if where we left off was so solid, we would still be kicking it like two left feet, like 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 two two right and left feet, right? But instead, we going in totally different directions. I haven't talked to you in years, and now you just pop up. I can't I can't let you do that, and that's the piece. So I'm glad you asked that question because that's the piece where a lot of people think, well, we can just pick up where we left off, and you can't. And if you try, it's going to end the same way because you're not being true to the, to the new who you are. You're not honoring what you need and what you, what you've grown and how you've become. Hey, Daryl, how are you? Um, you have, you have to honor that. You have to respect that. And they have to learn how to operate and how to navigate in the new space with the new you. They can't expect that. Oh, well, what worked five years ago. It's going to work now because you've gone through so much. We all go through so much that when time passes by, 
we have to start that relearning process. We have to start rebuilding how that relationship's going to look. And you have to do it from a place of what's good for you. And realize them popping back up out of hibernation, that was their idea. It wasn't your idea. And so don't feel obligated that you have to take on somebody else's idea. You don't. And, you know, I mean, this guy literally... Every three to four months, he be in and out of relationships, all kinds of stuff. And every few months, he'll pop up. And it's only on Instagram. He sent me friend requests. That thing is still pending. I think that thing's been pending for I don't know how long. Like, bruh, it ain't never going to get approved because we're not friends. We're not friends. We're acquaintances. Yeah, I used to know him. And some people, I think, yeah, I used to know them fondly. And some people, I think, yeah, I used to know them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have a whole different attitude about it. But unilaterally, my, my position on it is the same. We have to start rebuilding different. And I'm not suggesting that you got to sit down and be like, okay, so now I've changed and you've changed and da 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 da, da. But as you begin to reconnect and build a new bond with them, you slowly are teaching them this is how you this is how you engage with the new stuff. This is this is what is important to me now. Because I know, like I said, all the stuff that you've gone through. The things that might have been important to you right right, you know, two years ago, a year ago, hell, nine months ago, you have so many different priorities now that there is no possible way that somebody could successfully interact with you in your space now, emotionally, spiritually, financially, physically, everything. That they could have done a year ago two years ago it's not possible and people need to understand that but that's those conversations and that's why we're doing these truth talks is because people don't have these conversations they think they can sugarcoat it or they think oh well because I love that person it's enough I have a I have a dear 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 friend and what I told him was I love you just as much as I've always loved you but sometimes love's not enough. And so it has to stay in a certain in a certain place. It can't ever go back to and it's very easy with some people to go back to yeah, and it's really easy to go back to the way and the things and then what's known and what's comfortable. But if it was meant for you and it was good for you, they never would have went into hibernation. The relationship even if you're the one that went into hibernation, you never would have went into hibernation if you were being fulfilled and your cup was being was being refilled and your spirit was being honored and, and your needs were being met. Like, we don't hibernate from stuff like that. We stay engaged. We stay actively involved with those people. So whether they go into hibernation or you do, the fact that there was a hibernation period means we can't do what we've always done anymore. We have to do it different. So... That's that's my advice. You hate me. <laughs> oh, you don't hate me and stuff. I can't wait to see you. I'm, I'm going to definitely, like, when I get to Iowa, I'm not sure when I'm coming back yet, but, yeah, we're going to get together for sure. We got to catch up. We got to catch up. So, but that, you do, that's, that's Truth Talks for tonight, you guys. Um, I hope this message helps someone. Steph, thank you so much for the question. Thanks for engaging with me. I miss you terribly, and I can't wait to see you. And I will talk to y'all later. As always, thanks for being part of the Ultimate Power Team. Talk to y'all later. Have a good night.